So I am so excited because my husband Brian just surprised me and said that he bought us a session with a photographer to do a maternity photo shoot with our dog Zeke in it. So I am so excited because, you know, we've never really gotten any professional photos done except for our wedding day. We never did engagement photos or we've never just and ever really done that. So I am so excited for this and I can't wait. I'm going to go get a new dress. I'm getting my hair colored, um, just retouched up because I have a lot of grays starting to show. And um, I'm going to get my hair blown out the day of and get my makeup applied. So I'm kind of going all out, but only because we've never done this before. And I'm so excited. And so right now I am going to go and look for a dress. So I'm imagining something kind of long and flowy. So I hope I find something that matches that description that looks good. Um, so I am think I'm going to go and check out this one store called Motherhood Maternity and see what they have. All right, I am at a place called the Irvine Spectrum right now. It's a huge like outdoor shopping center, restaurants, bunch of different things here. I actually haven't been here in a long time, so it's grown tremendously, and I hope I can find motherhood maternity. So we'll see. So to be honest, I'm really not looking forward to trying on some dresses. I'm kind of at that stage in pregnancy. I'm seven and a half months pregnant now where I just feel uncomfortable. It's kind of hard to move around. You know, I always thought in movies and shows when they showed pregnant women struggling to like get their shoes on or put their pants on that they're just over exaggerating. But it is so true. It is really hard. I find myself just like rolling on the bed trying to get my shoes on. And so trying on clothes does not sound great right now, but oh well. I gotta find a dress, right? Okay, looks like I found it. So let's go in and see what they have. Ooh, it's right next door to the candy shop. Hmm, might have to stop in there too. Here are some long flowy dresses. So I'm gonna take a look at this section, see if there's anything that stands out. I kind of want something a little bit lighter. I don't want black, so maybe like white. But then again, I might spill on that. So that's always a possibility with me. So I don't know about that, that's kind of risky. All right, so far I've only found two dresses that I think I might try on, but they just have so much other cute stuff here too. So I'm kind of getting sidetracked but they have a really good selection. So, you know, if I don't find a dress here, I might find some other things, but I gotta focus. Gotta keep looking for dresses. All right, here is dress number one. Very pretty, I love blue. I don't like how you can see my belly button though, so I'll have to get something to hide that. <laughs> but I think this is really pretty. I like this a lot. It's not as flowy as I was wanting, but I still like this, this is very pretty blue. All right, let's go on to outfit number two. All right, here's dress number two. Now this one's a little bit more flowy, which I like, but I don't know, this is kind of weird, this thing going on up here. Uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure. So let's see, this from the side. All right, well, let's try the other one. I have one more. All right, here's the last one. It's actually just a skirt and shirt. Um, probably not great for a picture. I don't think I'll choose this one, but it's just a very pretty skirt, so I thought I'd still show it. <laughs> All right, so I decided to get the brighter blue, like the tighter dress to try. I'm gonna bring it home and try it on for Brian and see what he thinks and get his opinion. But there's also a Target here. So I'm gonna go check out this Target and see if they have any dresses. All right, so Target had nothing in for maternity dresses, but once again, I got sidetracked and I found this shoe section. So I'm gonna look at the shoes for a little bit. These shoes are so cute and they like, they go with so much, so. I feel like I need some of these in my life right now. I don't know, they're just calling to me for some reason. I love these, I think they are so cute, but do I really need them? Do I really need these? I need to keep asking myself that. And unfortunately, I think the answer is no. I think I must walk away. 
Well, I think that was the first. I just left Target without buying one single thing. Guess there's a first time for everything. All right, I had to pop into the candy store for just a little bit. So if I were here with my nieces right now, they would be going crazy. Oh my goodness, chocolate covered gummy bears. I used to love those as a kid. Kit Kat peanut butter. I have never seen this. That looks amazing. I love anything with peanut butter. Love all the jelly bellies, all the different flavors. Ooh, yum. I haven't had jelly beans in so long. Pancakes and maple syrup. Now that is a new one. So one time I took my nieces into a candy store like that. And of course, being the aunt, I let them get whatever they wanted and they were just filling their bags up so much. And we get to the counter to pay and it came out to like $50. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I can't believe I let them get that much candy, $50 worth. Being in that candy store reminded me um, of a candy my sister and I used to always buy when we were little. We loved them for some reason. But it was like those little candy cigarettes. I don't know why we loved them, but we just thought they were so good. I didn't see them in there. I wonder if they even still make them. Probably not, but I don't know. It'd be fun to see them again. So I was just getting ready to leave when I saw Yogurt Land. I am obsessed with frozen yogurt and I have a real addiction. So I'm gonna have to go in there and get some. I just can't help myself. Oh yum, mint Oreo cookies and cream. That looks amazing. I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. Ooh, but there is pistachio. I love pistachio too. I've noticed since being pregnant, I just always want frozen yogurt. Every night, that's what I have. I have to have frozen yogurt every night. Oh well, it, there could be worse things I crave. All right, so that was a little embarrassing. I went in there and I got like five or six samples before I even got my cup of frozen yogurt. Do you guys do that? I feel like I can't help myself. When I'm in there, I need to try everything. And I just go a little crazy with the samples, but it's so good, I can't help myself. So anyways, that was a very successful trip. I picked out a dress. I think I might order a couple off Amazon too, so I'll show you those when I get home. And then once they come, then I'll make my decision and return the other ones that I decide not to use. So I just got back from getting my hair done. As I mentioned, I wanted to get it colored and get the roots touched up, so no more grays for me. Um, it's really funny, I actually started graying when I was about like 19 or 20, and Brian started graying when he was really young too. So we like to joke that our poor baby's going to come out of the wound with a full thick head of gray hair. So, but anyways, I'm glad I got that taken care of. And when I got home, I noticed that uh, one of the dresses that I'd forgotten that I had ordered, I'd already ordered one from Amazon, had it arrived. So I wanted to show you this one, and then I'll show you the one that has not arrived yet, but I'll show you a picture of it. So here is option number two, I guess, because um, I had the blue one and then this one. So this is the one I ordered from Amazon. I'm sorry, I wish the lighting was a little bit better in here. But uh, you can see it's like a pinkish color. I'll try to get a little bit closer. And um, not a color I'm used to wearing, but I wanted to just do something, you know, a solid color, something pretty simple. So uh, I like it. It's very flowy, um, which I wanted. And so I don't know, this is another option. But let me go show you the other one that I ordered. Um, that should be here hopefully any day now. And here is option number three. So this is like a beige, more of a lacy type dress. And it's just another option. Not sure if this one's my favorite, but you never know once I put it on. Maybe I'll really end up liking it. Zeke wants to know what he's gonna be wearing. He actually got to wear a tie for our wedding because he was in our wedding, so We'll have to see if we put anything on him. We probably won't, but you never know. You might get something, Zeke. So thank you so much for coming along with me as I looked for dresses for our maternity baby shoot. So the baby shoot is actually next Friday. So I will be having a vlogging it, of course, and I'll be showing that video either next Saturday or the following Tuesday. So then you can see what dress I chose and just how everything turned out. 
So thank you so much again for watching and please make sure to subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Bye.